Hello, my name is Kevin McMahon. I'm a principal architect with SPR Consulting. As we discuss mobile strategies and solutions with clients, one of the recurring questions that come up is how do we take existing content and assets, as such as things stored in SharePoint sites, and make them available to mobile apps? Recently, a client came to us with a question about how they could mobilize a SharePoint site that they had set up for their sales force. Their sales force needs to access product and uh, safety information, and these documents were stored in SharePoint, PDF, and Word, uh, and Excel, and various other uh, office formats. So, uh, in breaking down this challenge, we've identified three areas that needed to be addressed in order to make a, a successful mobile app. Uh, that is able to access this content. The first one was authentication. Uh, how could we take native apps and uh, authenticate them against an existing SharePoint deployment? The second challenge was how do we take the significant amount of custom customization and detail that the uh, company had developed and, and, and curated over the years, how could we take the, that customization and expose it in a way that feels natural on mobile. And finally, the last, um, the last challenge was how do we take uh, an experience that the salespeople have had with the SharePoint site on the desktop and make that mobile and make that actually useful so that they can perform specific tasks in a mobile context and still feel familiar and comfortable with the system. Once we identified the challenges that the clients were having, we set out to create solutions. To tackle the authentication issue, we wrote some custom web services that were able to speak to SharePoint and to authenticate users through their Microsoft Unified Access Gateway. The second solution was to make an app that was able to put the documents and content that the salespeople were looking for at their fingertips. And that involved figuring out how to optimize the search and filtering experience on the apps to make that information easy to get at. And finally, um, these users, these Salesforce, were using a variety of different devices. They were using Android and iOS devices, and we needed to make an app that looked and felt um, like the platform that they were using them on. So we wanted an Android app to work and look like an Android app, and we wanted an iOS app to look and feel like an iOS app. So you can read more about how we actually accomplished this and some of the details at www.spr.com.